Greetings, I have just completed the assembly of my tripler board, the board that takes uh, the signal from the frequency synthesizer at 3408 MHz and it triples it out to 10,224 MHz so it's, it just triples the signal just finished assembly and I propose that we look at uh, the assembly result and that we test it out now let's go with a closer shot so what do we have on that little board well input RF input at 3408 MHz coupling capacitor MMIC amplifier so it's actually fed 8 volts and there are two resistors in, in series to bring down the voltage to the operational voltage and it limits the current of course I have three MMIC amplifiers the first one is an ERA2 as uh, suggested by uh, W1GHZ and the other two are NLB310 this one and this one which are designed to run at 10 gigahertz and there's another coupling cap here uh, on the output that blocks the DC same as the input except I used a high frequency a microwave capacitor here at 10 gigahertz it's an ATC ceramic capacitor and uh, everything else is common 0805 size surface mount resistors and capacitors um, if you look closely you'll see that it looks like I struggled with the ground connections indeed initially I did struggle um, and uh, changed my soldering iron because the ground plane was really a big uh, heat sink and I did indeed and I also had to replace this MMIC one of the two NLB 310s why I don't know it did not work uh, the first time I um, installed it so I took it out and put a new one in and the second one worked was it defective uh, from you know from the package I don't know but uh, the second one worked this one was okay the probes of course were already soldered in position just after I installed the pipe caps uh, one more comment is it looks like the finish is tarnished or at least affected and indeed it was affected when I soldered the pipe gaps with the flux I used it did flow through the vias on the, this surface came underneath here and flowed and then melted the solder somewhat that was here or at least the flux did its work and um, you know I'd have to polish the whole surface I cleaned it up and it's okay as is it's just that it's not as smooth as it was originally on the board uh, one last comment is regarding the connectors the connectors that I used are high quality connectors but they're designed for the thicker boards so after analyzing what the thinner board connectors look like I figured that I could simply put a shim and this is what I did here I fit a piece of copper to fill the gap between the board surface and the gold uh, leg there and soldered on both sides and I did that for the two legs and that did the trick uh, on the thinner connectors the gold part here is just thicker to fill the gap so why not fill the gap with a piece of copper and that's what I did and I'm pretty sure the performance will be the same the connector is pushed flat against the surface of course at those frequencies you have to be careful make sure that there's no air gap or anything like that all right now how does it work this board well let's go see the setup so here's uh, the final implementation of my uh, LO local oscillator again 10 megahertz reference into the ADF4351 synthesizer board which produces 3408 megahertz and with the tripler board it gets us to 10.224 gigahertz uh, so that's the LO frequency I'm interested in uh, I've already tuned the pipe cap filters using a generator uh, so they're uh, peaked for maximum 10 gigahertz output and they do reject uh, somewhat the other spurs as you will see in a few seconds so everything's up running I'm feeding 8 volts 
to this board here there's an onboard regulator and i'm feeding 8 volts to this guy as well the mmic amplifiers were designed with current limiting resistors for 8 volts of supply plus minus so now let's have a look at the resulting frequency plots so i've captured three frequency responses on my spectrum analyzer the first one shows from 3 gigahertz to 20 gigahertz and this is our 10.224 gigahertz signal it's a little low i would have preferred to have plus six plus seven but it will be okay if there's not too much loss in the coax uh, between the yellow and the transverter board and then the other harmonics the 6.8 gigahertz is 37 db lower than our peak here and uh, this one is even a little lower at the maybe 38 db lower so we're okay here our harmonics are way too far to bother us because on the transverter there will be some filtering done uh, on the 10 gigahertz portion so those are low enough and then the higher ones are you know even smaller so uh, they don't bother us here so that's going to be good enough and this is the same signal now on a 10 kilohertz span so 10.224 so what do we see well we see very little on a 10 kilohertz span there's nothing bothering us here uh, and our uh, noise if, if we can say so is something like 10 20 30 40 50 60 plus db down so that's more than clean enough for uh, nlo no problem and if we look even closer this is a one kilohertz span so this is 120 hertz this is 240 hertz this is 360 hertz and so on so we pick up ac hum a little bit of hum but again it's very low if you start here 10 20 30 40 50 it's 50 db down so that's more than clean enough for our application and you remember we had listened to the signal and it was good to the ear listening on a 10 gigahertz signal so the tripler circuit is not going to affect that at all it's it will still be a clean signal so all in all a good enough lo signal i will have to put all of these small pieces into a box because i want to lo to be in a separate box separate from the transverter and uh, i'm thinking of using 3d printing mm, we'll see until then i thank you and i say 73